So, uh, welcome everybody. Um, I would like to thank the scientific committee having selected our submission. We have a little uh, conflict of interest because Giovanni Bogialini is one of the author of uh, uh, the, uh, the presentation uh, of the uh, of the speech uh, and the subject of the speech. Um, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Judd, Mr. Bergamasco for the invitation. Uh, the speech is about uh, a project management platform uh, applied in healthcare context uh, that take part of uh, uh, the health technology challenge of uh, the, the Congress. So, uh, first of all, I would uh, introduce Okay, um, just uh, uh, some slide to give you just the context in which this platform has been developed. Um, we would give you the, the perception of the value of the platform we arrange um, just in three or four minutes with, uh, with the slides. Um, I would give you some insight uh, of a wider frame of project management in which the platform has to be considered. So, let's start. Um, first of all, oh, it's difficult probably to read uh, a lot of this slide, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, on your left, uh, there is um, a publication by the American Association hospital association and uh, it is about capital risk in healthcare. First of all, uh, so why beginning uh, this presentation by speaking uh, about capital project risk management in healthcare? Uh, it is because of a high complexity and, and high cost of medical devices, uh, most of them being a responsibility of a clinical engineer to plan from the evaluation of the opportunity to uh, the acquisition of, and the integration in a by-day organization of the device. A second reason why it is strictly tied with the, the project itself. The project is a challenge and at the beginning is out of codified organization. And for this reason it's susceptible for a higher grade of risk. Uh, third reason, the cost itself. It's important to keep attention to any kind of delay when it is concerned with capital uh, equipment, um, any delay from the approvement of the investment to the installation and introduction in operation of the device uh, can be a source of economic uh, issue negatively influenced by fast obsolescence rate of high technology. For this reason I mentioned I would be clear now the control of the project is one of, from my point of view, is one of the core competence of a clinical engineer and the knowledge applied uh, in a risky field. It's important to understand that we can contribute to control risk and cost during the execution of, of a project. It has to be considered that most of real power of project manager is exerted during planning phase. This is very important because when the execution phase starts, there are significant constraints in real action that have strong impact on cost readjustment and rescheduling. So the possibility to readjust um, this constraint when the, the project already started are uh, uh, less of less the degree of action for the project manager or has a greater impact. So, uh, this is the last uh, intro of my, my presentation. This is a publication um, by The Economist. Uh, it's a large survey, uh, worldwide survey, on maturity model of portfolio program and project manage management in different uh, industries, um, healthcare and pharma included. From the initial it's important to understand how the degree of the blue, the light blue, the black uh, row uh, go to the, go decreasing uh, in this graph. You have to note that 
um, because uh, from the initial phase of formulating a strategy, that is uh, the first two, okay, and prioritizing and founding the initiative and project, um, all the evaluation, this is the evaluation from uh, top management, uh, um, is decreasing. It's like uh, we are able to plan, but we are not able to execute the strategic plan. And we have a lot of difficulties doing that. Uh, most of the time, it's because uh, uh, the, the, the main cause is weak strategy execution and poor feedback actions uh, from project back to program and portfolio performance measurements. Uh, it's very interesting to comment the last two row. Please look at that. Um, because even when the strategy had a successful implementation, the lessons learned are poor quality, are of poor quality, not just for the failed strategy implementation, but also for the successful one. This is very strange. But it's the opinion of the C-suite, of the top management. And, uh, and this slide is just to uh, make more uh, uh, simple to understand uh, our platform. Uh, it's the last intro slide. It's, uh, it's about the difference between agile versus waterfall approach. This is more technical for those who are interested in uh, project management. Um, in El Neltec uh, uh, hospital project context, uh, is, uh, is an example of formally, from my point of view, is formally a regulated scope with constraining time and cost. All formally developed documents that is of reference for the project are by contractor or supplier. They have a main goal in reducing tech degree of uncertainty or requirement uncertainty. There are the two dimensions of this uh, graph. So, uh, they made a main goal in introducing tech degree. Um, that's the main reason why protective approach, also known as waterfall approach, works in the right way in hospital health tech project. We should consider differently the approach if the tech, uh, health tech could involve innovation, uh, but probably this is out of my, my speech. Uh, in this case, probably the agile approach can be better. So, what? Um, the application of project management standard can obviously simplify the management of a project. It can also support the evolution of a maturity model in the organization by which enforcing strategy execution and a sort of just-in-time reporting to top management. All weakness are from high time-consuming activities for project manager. Indeed, project manager has to spend a lot of time in document management, in having a improvement from key organization people of the most important project documents, in following the updating uh, policy of document, in sharing the updated documents with each subgroup of project team. These actions, for sure, with others, are the real ones to, to control the constraint of project and the risk of scope creep after a good phase of planning. Controlling communication is another weakness that each project one, manager one minute, Julia. has to face. Yes, um, it is considered as one of the most frequent causes of failure in project management. So, um, we developed a single cloud platform in Microsoft Project uh, uh, 2016. Uh, it has been integrated with shared folder option and automatic workflow started by main folder of document management. Uh, on, the, on the right you notice the matrix of, um, uh, of uh, the, the uh, project management process group and knowledge area. Uh, the yellow one are the uh, group of process that uh, is covered by the 
uh, is um, covered by the, the uh, platform. Yeah. So, uh, um, this is the project that we choose to test the platform. It's a new radiotherapy department. Um, we had 18 different profile activated, 22 issues uh, worked out during the entire project, and we stored 192 docs inside the platform with this automatic workflow. That's it. Uh, the conclusion, uh, I would uh, make the conclusion of my speech, quoting the, some of the top 10 laws of project management. Thinking about the big picture, it's important to keep in mind that failing to plan is planning to fail. But when you're planning and executing a project, time can be the real enemy. Because there are two states to any large project, too early to tell and too late to stop. That's why project management is about applying common sense with uncommon discipline. So the tool we develop, and I described in this short speech, can be useful, but it's not a solution. It's just a support to strong project management knowledge and methodology, just because a fool with a tool is still a fool. Thank you.